My question is going to be for Neil, the production uh, designer. Um, how what was what was your first reaction when you you saw that the, we're going to take in this we're taking this class of this this classic story and making it more modern with a style more modern with the language and the style and the music and everything. What was your first reaction and how did you approach that project? Thanks. That uh, um, that's a really good question, and uh, you know it's similar. To to what um, Jen was saying, it's, you know, we looking, start with the period and what's real for the period and then make choices that seem to work with the tone of the show and to kind of have a modern sensibility. So for instance, you know, one of the big challenges in season two is to build this evergreen set, which we, you know, the interiors and the exterior you see, we built um, from scratch. And I looked at, um, you know, we had to create this real contrast with Homestead and which is also a very beautiful set created in season one. But I made choices. I looked at a lot of different period houses. I also looked at European houses because there's also this story connection between um, Sue's salons and Violetta's salons in La Traviata. So I made choice, like we did fabric covered walls, which existed in the period they existed in the 18th century but you know maybe they wouldn't have existed in amherst necessarily in that period but they gave a kind of luxury and beauty to the set and depth that really set it apart so it's it's those kind of choices and sensibilities we're always looking for i'm really inspired like also by con contemporary like studio Ferragalli in italy they do this kind of historical kind of um, interior design that looks period but it has a real modern um, feel to it. So that's that's really how I approach it. But you know, like I said, I mean, it's a period show in production design. We, we avoid anachronisms, but hopefully it feels fresh and you know, appealing to, to the audience. Thank you. My question now is for the music department that would be uh, drum and lace and, and divos. I, I think my question is gonna be right, you know, beside what I asked Neil and, and I think one of, the, one of the things that stands out from the from the TV series is the dialogue. We see the script, the way that the characters are being written, and then the music. What was your first reaction when you you nearly were brought into the project and they were told you, well, yeah, this is something classic, but we're we're modernizing. So how do you react to okay, let's see what we can do? So um I think I mean our first reaction was like, this is amazing, because of course, mm -hmm. you know, um it it would have been a very, um, a, a lot more daunting of a job, I think, to write this in uh, the style of the time, just because I think that it would have required a much more like historically accurate um, depiction, obviously. So when they came to us um, and they told us who the, you know, the, what the cast was, and we'd seen some of the beautiful costumes and set design, and we were just kind of like, you want us? <laughs> so yeah. we were just, um, I think, really, really excited. and. Um, and we also knew how um, great the songs were going to be, you know, and it, it was uh, a lot of pressure to know that we had to write something that sounded as good as, you know, these big kind of like contemporary hits or, you know, like, you know, songs that sound extremely good. So I think it was both exciting and extremely intimidating. Yeah, it was just, I think it was a matter of us, once we, once the excitement waned off, it was like, okay, can we actually like make this sound good? Can we up our production chops so that they live in the same realm as all these other songs. Yeah, because it is score. There's some moments, you know, in the in the, especially in season two, where you, it starts to become more score, like scoring the scenes. But a lot mm. of it tends to be, you know, like what they, I, a word that I think we both kind of hate, but it's scores, you know, like a score song kind of thing. Yeah. So um, I think as we move into, you know, more and more seasons, it'll start being a little bit more score to picture and we'll be able to bring in more contemporary, more kind of, classical instrumentation. Um, but the, the first reaction was we were just thrilled and really excited and um, we love working on the show. Thanks for your question. I, I think I think for me it was, it was a similar reaction because I think at the time I'd been working on a lot of shows that were uh, had older sounding music I guess and not so much contemporary music so for me it was kind of fun and daunting to kind of you know like really explore like current music and you know, be fresh with it, but also be different than other current shows, you know? So it was exciting. 
Martin, you want to add something? Uh, yeah, I have another example that comes to mind. If you think what's been mentioned before for the for the opera too, for for the other reasons, but that musically, is, sorry, it's the phone going off in the background, but uh, it's just such a fascinating example how the obviously not, not written by you guys, but the old piece of music, and then it goes with your score and it leads to the songs. This whole is like a 10 minute part of the whole episode until she stands on the stage by herself. And it's all, it's so beautifully done musically, but also stylistically how it combines all these different styles and think, things together musically. It's just fascinating. I mean, the way, um, Sophia and Ian, and then they both worked that out on the musical side and to go with everything else is just one of the most fascinating pieces of the episode from that point of view. Thank you guys. I think, honestly, the music is one of the things that to me stood out the most and, and, and captivated me at least. It can be really entertaining with everything that happened. So kudos to the, all of you. Thank you. Thank you.